Well, Topps Heritage is kind of one of those uh, crossover type of brands that you see on the market. Not very many of those that kind of appeal to both the uh, the vintage collector and the modern collector. Obviously, it's geared toward the modern collector, but here they are. They just hit the retail uh, shelves this week, and so we picked up a box of the 2011 product, and of course, they are modeled after the 1962 top set which uh, really is a favorite of a lot of collectors because of those wood grain borders and uh, just kind of a lot of the neat little uh, quirks that go along with it so we'll see what tops has in store obviously some of the uh, better inserts and things are not a part of this they're being held out for the, uh, the uh, hobby boxes but we'll see what we get a lot of people getting introduced to the hobby through the retail pack so if we can get them out of the box we'll get going and there are nine packs or in this uh I should say uh, nine cards per pack and, and eight packs total in the box. So that's what you get. Roy Halliday on the cover of the box and also on the packs themselves. And if you look at the uh, Heritage brand, of course, they've got all those short prints, which is kind of a problem if you're a, a collector of uh, base sets because it's going to take a lot of money and a lot of time to put together a set of Heritage. But let's go. We see we got uh, Casey Coleman, Ryan Braun, and you see the the wood grain borders which are uh, are pretty neat actually and uh, very similar to what you would have seen back in 1962 there's francisco rodriguez minnesota twins team card we've got randy wolf a couple of brewers in one pack j.a happ and there's the uh, babe ruth special cards that were part of that 62 set and they're they're back here in the heritage brand and there's ted Lilly. pack number two paul canerco Pretty good centering on these. That wasn't the case back in 1962. <laughs> Desmond Jennings. We got Johnny Gomes. There's uh, the name. Wouldn't you love to see Harry Carey pronounce uh, Kosuke Fukudome's name? Well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Ian Desmond. Adam LaRoche. Ozzy Martinez. Carlos Lee. Jimmy Rollins. Checklist. Can't uh, get over how strikingly similar these fronts are, actually, to the ones that came out back in 62. Very, very similar. Obviously, that's a little bit different on the back, but... Uh, give credit to Tops for that, for being true to the old brand. Here comes pack three. There's Dan Heron. Ike Davis, who obviously uh, broke through last year, rookie season. Juan Uribe. We've got some World Series championship cards. Always love that when the, the cards for the next year have the, uh, the look back at last year. Good shot there at Tim Lincecum. And we've got an autograph card here. It's uh, Dave Hillman, uh, Reds pitcher from back in the 1962 uh, series, that's the card that you would have gotten back then, but there you see the autograph. So there's our hit, very nice. And uh, it says top certified autograph issue right on the top. So nice uh, signature and a, a very nice pull. There's uh, Jose Bautista. We got Ozzy Guillen. Good to see manager cards. Frankie Cordero. And there's Joe Maurer of the Twins. So safe to say we're not going to get another uh, hit probably out of this box, but uh, kind of need to see that one come out uh, about midway through. But let's see what else we've got here. I like the cards so far. Niger Morgan, Evan Longoria, getting some pretty decent uh, players here, if nothing else. John Jay, and there's the Rookie Parade, like you remember in the uh, high numbers back in 62. Logan Morrison's on there. Mariano Rivera. There's another Babe Ruth special card, and there's another pretty good uh, shot of the uh, win leaders from last year in the American League looking much like they did back in 62 when you would have seen guys like Koufax and Warren Spahn. Jose Lopez, we got three, four packs to go here. Try to get through these as quick as we can. Tommy Hansen, Bobby Abreu still hanging around. Araldus Chapman, the rookie notation there, another one. Chris Coughlin, Ryan Terrio. I'd like to see the cards get updated, showing the players on their current teams. Here you got Mark Reynolds, Red Sox Rippers, Pedroia and Ortiz, Alex Gordon. There you got Paul Mahalam. And a flashback to 1962, the Mariner II successfully encounters. Venus, a little nod to science there back in December of 1962. Babe Ruth special again. Got an A's team card. Franklin Gutierrez and Jim Tomei, who's putting up uh, some numbers that are certainly Hall of Fame worthy, I think. As his career goes on, probably winding down. CC Sabathia, a little four picture card there. Showing him throwing a curveball. Julio Barbone, Jorge Posada. 
Felix Hernandez, Brooks Robinson, and another flashback card. Kind of like that one. We got a Matt Holiday uh, Sporting News All Star. Of course, those were also in the high number series back in '62. Mark Teixeira and Mark Burley. And one more pack to go, and we'll call it a wrap. Not a wrapper, but a wrap. Sean Figgins. There's Chris Carpenter. Pedroia, Beltran, Gonzalez, Brandon Inge, Hanley Ramirez, and Carlos Gonzalez. So there you go. One retail box, one autograph, and some pretty nice cards.